All right, guys, welcome to possibly the first uh, set of study notes that you'll be making from an actual video. So if you were in orientation, you would have probably done the first couple of key knowledges live uh, during the week. So now getting into using these videos as you will do for the rest of the year. And um, so we're starting off with key knowledge three here. So characteristics of entrepreneurs and business managers. Okay, so the idea of these videos, just to re-emphasize, um, it isn't just about what you see on the screen. So don't just go copying everything you see on the screen kind of blindly, not paying much attention. Um, a lot of this is about what's being said as well. So I'll be talking around what you see on the screen. So your notes should also be including some of what is said, not just literally a script of what you're going to see on the screen in the next 15 minutes or so. And the same with all of these videos. You'll soon get the hang of it, hopefully. All right, so get into this video. So the way we'll always start with these videos is by putting up on the screen the study design. So the relevant page of the study design, which has the uh, current outcome that we're studying. So this is one you see here, outcome one. So unit one, planning a business, area study one, or outcome one, the business idea. So that is it in its entirety. And then what we do is show you where we're zooming in on this particular video. So as you can see there, the characteristics of successful business managers, managers and business entrepreneurs and how these characteristics contribute to business success. So that is our focus. And with each video, you see with that, that little box will shift down as we move through the outcome. Okay, now actually, if I just go back to that one for a second, it does say um, characteristics of successful business managers and business entrepreneurs. Those are two different things. So we were introduced to the concept of entrepreneurship entrepreneurship in the first key knowledge dot point. Um, and actually a bit of the stuff that I said in that one, um, I'll also be touching on here as well, because it's kind of hard to explain what entrepreneurship is without at least touching on um, the characteristics of an entrepreneur. But you'll see here, this is actually differentiating, okay? So the characteristics of successful business managers and then business entrepreneurs. So we're treating these as two different things because the reality is they are two different things as hopefully we'll demonstrate during this video. So the idea is we're gonna take those two things in turn. Now we're actually gonna start with entrepreneurs and we'll cover off in business managers second um, just because that's what we um, looked at in key knowledge ones just so continue that theme so we were introduced to that concept of an entrepreneur in the very first key knowledge as i just said there's some definitions for you again do not copy all of the definitions the idea if i provide a couple two or three definitions of a term or of a word the idea is to kind of choose the one that resonates or makes the most sense to you and take that one. And you shouldn't actually be learning definitions, parrot fashion, or, you know, by heart anyway, because over the duration of the course, there are so many, there's literally hundreds and hundreds of words that you need to kind of understand and might be able to, might have to define in a question. But the idea is if you have an understanding of the concept, you should then be able to come up with a definition. But for the purpose of your notes, when you see multiple definitions like here, the idea is just, you know, one or more might resonate with you a little bit more than others. So just choose the one that kind of makes the most sense to you and use that one in your notes. Now, also, I'm going to just point out here as well, these definitions of an entrepreneur still apply if the business that is going to be operating is going to be a social enterprise. OK, so we mentioned social enterprise um, in terms of an objective of um, the objective of meeting social needs there is still an entrepreneur behind that business because the business still needs to make a profit okay remember a social enterprise is not a charity it's still a business it's still a profit seeking business the only difference is what happens to that profit so we still have an entrepreneur sitting behind a social enterprise now i guess that what this whole key knowledge dot point um what the wording is about the entrepreneurs, a bit like um, sports people who are at the top of the game, um, they've achieved great success in business. So sports people have achieved great success in their field. 
entrepreneurs have achieved success in business. So the idea is, what is it about them um, that help them get to where they are now? So with the sports person, you know, what is it about those people that makes them so good? What makes them different from the rest of us? Is there a set of characteristics, traits, qualities, um, personality traits that they tend to possess more than the average person? Are there certain skills that they tend to have more than the average person that kind of allows them to be successful in business? So that's kind of where we're going with this. The answer to that question, as you probably guessed, is yes. So mentioned the script um, in earlier keynowledge.points. So there is no script for this one. If you think about what that study design keynowledge.point did, it just said, um, you know, characteristics. It didn't mention what those characteristics are. It didn't list um, a bunch of characteristics that entrepreneurs or business managers have. So the idea is that you can come up with them yourself. But as mentioned previously, where there is no script, I basically provide you one in these videos. So that essentially becomes a script. So I think here I'm going to cover off on, I think it's seven characteristics of entrepreneurs and about six for business managers. So that essentially becomes your script. So whilst you don't have to use these um, in a question, you could use others because there are literally hundreds you could use. Safer to use these because these are the ones that are going to be in your notes. These are the ones you're going to learn. So just bear that in mind. All right. Okay. So first characteristic of an entrepreneur. So we'll get through these fairly quickly. This is not really rocket science. Determination. Okay. Entrepreneurs. This is a bit like, you know, sports people. What makes elite sports people good generally is the fact that they're determined. They put in the significant amount of hard work and effort that is needed to be successful in their sport. Same in business. Okay. Setting up a business can be a real slog. There's going to be a lot of hard work. You need to be determined to make a go of it. Secondly, willingness to take risks. Definitely touched on this one um, in the other key knowledge. Entrepreneurs generally are willing to take financial, career and other types of risks to pursue success that other people simply won't take. And actually, if you're in my class, I touched on myself, the fact that, you know, I was a business manager for many, many years in lots of different types of businesses, but I wasn't an entrepreneur. And one of the main reasons that I've never been an entrepreneur is because I just wasn't willing to take the risks involved. Um, you know, for me now to become an entrepreneur, it might, for example, um, involve risking my family home, which I am not prepared to do. Um, innovative. Entrepreneurs tend to be innovative. They have the ability to see things, see opportunities for new products or new ways of doing things, new ways of delivering products to market, um, which, again, the average person does not have the ability to do. You know, it's again, it's something that stands them apart, generally speaking, from the average person. This idea that they're just um, more innovative. Resourceful, similar to innovative in a way. They have the ability to find quick and clever ways to overcome difficulties. Okay, so again, when you're starting a business, you're going to come up against barrier after barrier after barrier. You tend to find entrepreneurs are the type of people that just have the ability to find ways to overcome those hurdles and those barriers. Really, really crucial to have this in the development of a business. Every business is going to come up against these barriers, these hurdles. You need to find ways to overcome them. And if you don't have these entrepreneurial um, characteristics of resourcefulness, the chances are you're not going to be able to and the business is not going to last. Ability to think outside the box. Again, this is a little bit similar, I guess. Um, come up with original ideas, you know, again, recognizing opportunities that others have missed. Um, often they're rule breakers, successful entrepreneurs. If you actually look at their background, often, you know, they didn't have a conventional background. Actually, a lot of them um, tended to be not great academically. They might even have been school or uni dropouts. So it kind of they kind of defy often the conventional wisdom of what's going to make someone successful. But what they do do is engage in this very aggressive, but very calculated, very intelligent, very smart risk-taking. So ability to think outside the box, be a little bit creative with your thinking, often a characteristic that they possess. Resilience, prepare to persist, persevere in the long run. 
Failure is likely to happen, not necessarily for the business overall, but you're going you're gonna to come across failures within the business. You're going to fall off the bike. The idea is you need to get back on it. If you talk to any successful entrepreneur that's been in, been in the game for many, many years, they're going to tell you they could tell lots of stories about how they failed. And what they'll generally tell you is that every failure made them stronger. So you need to be able to persist, persevere. When you fall off the bike, get straight back on it and keep pedaling, keep going until you come across the next barrier. Same again. Okay. So very, very important um, characteristic in entrepreneurship, I would suggest. And last one I'm going to talk about is confidence. Okay. You will often find that an entrepreneur has an amazing amount of confidence, um, both in themselves but also in their idea, their business, okay? Um, they might have come up, you know, if they're talking about their business with friends or associates, other people, you know, they might get knockbacks and people don't have the same level of belief in their idea, but somehow they just have this absolute belief that their idea is going to work and is going to be successful. And again, that's what often gives them that drive and determination, the persistence, resilience we've been talking about. Um, it can be, It can almost be, quite strange to other people, you know, other people that don't get the idea, just won't understand why the person has so much confidence in that idea. But then, you know, if things become, if they turn it into reality, and it becomes a successful business, then with hindsight, you're like, oh, okay, now I see where you're coming from. So yeah, an, an, an amazing level of confidence often these people have in themselves and in their ideas. Now, coming back to said before, so that was business entrepreneurs. Now we're going to focus on business managers, okay? Now, they're two different things I said at the beginning. Okay, the entrepreneur is the person with the ideas, okay? They're the ones with the skills and the courage and to take the risks to pursue those ideas and to turn it into a reality, okay? A manager is the person who manages the operation and the functions of the organization, of the business. Now, look, they might be both one and the same particularly when a business is new and small and expanding, the business or the entrepreneur might also be the person managing the business. Once the business reaches a certain size and you start bringing in staff, you might start bringing in management, then that situation will change. But fundamentally, the qualities, the skills, the characteristics of an entrepreneur can be quite different um, for what's needed to be successful to those that are needed to be successful um, as a manager. Now, look, there definitely is some crossover, okay? There are, there are definitely some skills, some characteristics which kind of sit across both camps, but I'm going to focus on kind of different ones, going to try to keep the two things different. So I'm going to now look at six um, skills that business managers um, or is helpful for business managers to have for them to see success in their particular field, okay? First off, communication. Essential for dealing effectively with a really wide range of people. Okay, so when you're running a business, when you're starting a business, when you're running a business, you're going to come into contact with a really, really wide range of different people. You might have staff, you've got customers, suppliers, and um, professional advisors, like you might have accountants, you might have marketers, you might have recruiters, IT people, you know, the, the various consultants that you might be consulting with to run your business. You might have government departments competitors, all sorts of people, a really, really, really broad range spectrum of different types of people. If you can communicate effectively with as broad a range of people as possible, that's obviously going to help you see success. Technical skills. Now, what I mean here is this is relevant to the type of business. So in other words, if you're if you're a law firm, a law practice, then you would hope that the, the people running the business have some knowledge of the law. If it's a plumbing business and you're hiring managers that have some plumbing knowledge, hairdressing, so on and so forth. So that's kind of more relevant to the particular business, but technical skills in whatever the business is doing or whatever they're selling is going to be helpful. Planning and organizational skills, really, really important parts of a manager's toolkit. Managing time, managing workflow, keeping up to date with everything. You might need to organize workspaces organizing rosters for staff, all that sort of thing. Planning and organizing, I would say, are fundamental aspects of managing a business. Um, this is actually often where the entrepreneur can be lacking. 
Um, you know, they're the ideas person, but they're not so great at the planning organization of how those ideas are going to come to fruition. This is where often actually a really good business manager can kind of sit side by side and work well with an entrepreneur. The two sort of subsets of, subsets of skills kind of come together and work well. Um, but yeah, planning, organizing, you'll find a lot of managers, this is what they spend a lot of their day doing. Financial skills, um, look, obviously a business, money is an integral part of running a business, whatever type of business it is, making money is going to be the end goal. So you need to basically be monitoring the financial position of the business, the money going out of the business, the money coming into the business, and managing all of those financial processes, which we don't touch in a lot of detail in this course, we touch on a little bit later on. Um, but yeah, managing all of that side of the business is going to be key. Marketing and promotion. Again, any business needs to promote itself, okay? Um, you need to promote the business and the products or the services to customers and potential customers. Okay, if nobody knows about what you're trying to sell, nobody's going to buy and then you're not going to have a successful business. So these managers have got to identify who, who are your customers, um, who are you trying to sell to, who are you trying to target, and then come up with ways in which to persuade them to actually buy your product often as opposed to the products offered by your competitors. And we get into marketing pretty heavily in the second uh, unit two um, of this course, um, where we'll look at how they can actually do this. And the sixth, and I think the final one we're gonna look at here is leadership skills, okay? Now, leadership. Leadership is about um, achieving goals through others, okay? Getting people to do what you need them to do. Okay, the ability of an individual or a group of individuals to influence and guide followers or other members of an organization. Without good leadership, a business is not going to be successful. Any organization, you need really solid leadership. Um, you need to, that person driving things that has setting the direction and then getting everybody else in the business on board with that direction and driving the business forward um, in that direction that we need to head so that we can see success. So leadership, a really, really key thing. Can we look at that a little bit more detail? Actually, in year 12, um, the importance of leadership in a business. Okay, um, now, to go back to that keynote stop point, as well as talking about the characteristics, it did say um, how the characteristics contribute to business success. So the way the questions are worded, it might actually ask you to describe couple of characteristics that entrepreneurs have, for example, and how those characteristics contribute to business success. Really, this is just how you would word your answer, okay? Look, at, at the end of the day, all those characteristics, skills, qualities, whatever you want to call them, we've just looked at. If you think about it, like if the, if the entrepreneur didn't have determination, you know, they're not going to have the drive to see the business through. If the business manager was not planning and not organizing, things are going to fall apart and you know, you're not going to keep up with deadlines and so on and so forth. So you can actually just change the spin on how you word it into how the how um, each of those things we just looked at is actually um, important in contributing to business success. At the end of the day, the broader the range of qualities, skills, characteristics, however you want to put it, um, that the manager or the entrepreneur has the greater the chance that the business is going to see success because you're going to be able to deal with a much wider range of situations. Okay, so pretty straightforward. So that is it for Key Knowledge 3. Uh, make sure you've got a really good set of notes there, nice and organized, easy for you to um, follow up with when you're coming to revise for the SAC and the exam. And I will see you in the next video for Key Knowledge 4. Cheers for now.